<laughs> a bot. Inside Archicad Complex Profile Manager, there are several default templates, but are they enough for you or for me? I guess not. But today I am going to show you how you can create your own custom of templates and save them for future use. So, as usual, this is Uswazi Talented TV and I'm your co-pilot right here, Bumbisko Enoch. So follow along until the end of this video tutorial and don't even miss a second of this video. So kwa kwanza, takuenda kufungua Akikad kama unaviona kwenye screen yako na nitakuwa na iyo PDF drawing or sections za moldings kama unaviona kwenye screen yako na hii molding nimei download kwenye linki ambayo nimeiweka kwenye video description down there so don't forget to download it and use use it for your future uses or to follow along this video tutorial so nitaka chokwenda kufanya kwa sasa ni ku Taka chokwenda kufanya ni kuprint hiyo peji unayona kwenye screen yako kwa kubonyeza control P ya like so and then baada ya kwa bonyeza control P nitakwenda kuklik kwenye current page like so and nitakwenda kutumia printer ambao ni Microsoft print to PDF na sijajua I don't know what kind of printer you are using but uh, for this tutorial for this case I'm using Microsoft to print to PDF and there are several several formats of which all outputs you can use such as PDF creator or Microsoft print to PDF of which I'm using today so I'm going to pick that and then nitaka chokwenda kufanya kwa sasa ni kuklik OK na and boom itakuja save print output as window ambayo imepop kwenye screen kama unavyoona na nitakwenda ku fill file name pale chini of which right now nitakwenda ku type second second page ya yeah, whatever then nitakwenda ku press save Okay then. Na baada ya kuisave hiyo document file kwa sasa hii PDF haihitajiki tena. So nitakachokwenda kufanya ni ku kwenda ku locate hiyo file kule niliko isave na yeah, like so nita click namna hiyo na ile PDF file ambayo tumeisave kama print ni hii hapa kama unaviona kwenye screen yako nitakwenda ku click na ku hold left click mouse then nita place kwenye Archicad window pale juu bila kuachia left click mouse nitakwenda ku release left click mouse kwenye canvas ya Archicad kama unaviona kwenye screen yako na nitakachokwenda kufanya kwa sasa nitakwenda ku resize of which unafahamu kwamba hii imekuja haiko into proper scale of which the author of this book ame provide kwamba distance ya hapo mpaka hapo ni 191 na hapa mpaka hapo ni 152 so mimi nitakwenda ku resize kwa kufuata hizo dimension ambazo ame provide so ili ku resize nitakwenda kufuata au oh, nitakwenda ku place shortcut ya keyboard ambayo ni control k of which it means ku resize 
ambayo itakwenda ku pop window ndogo ambayo imeandikwa resize kwa pale juu na mimi nitatumia define graphical so tutatumia define graphical and then we are going to click okay kama unaviona kwenye screen yako and then nitakwenda ku pick point ya kuanzia hiyo scaling or resize na then baada ya ku click hapo nitakwenda ku hold shift ili ni move kwenye x axis and then nitakwenda ku pick hii point hapa juu nita click and boom na kama unaviona kwenye screen yako is navo move mouse yangu kuna boda unaona ina extend inward and outward so hapa it's the right time for me to to make an input of resizing of which that dimension you see there i'm going to put it at the nitakwenda kuiweka kama input dimension ambayo itafanya scaling ya hiyo pdf yetu so nitakwenda ku press control r also nitakwenda ku press r kwenye keyboard na nitakwenda ku input ile 191 and then ta press enter kwenye keyboard ku activate resize yeah like so nitakuwa nime resize na kwa sasa iko kwenye proper scale ambayo tunahitaji kutumia na right now nitakacho kwenda kufanya ni ku explode hiyo document na ili ku explode nitakwenda pia kutumia shortcut key kwenye keyboard yangu ambayo nitakwenda ku press control eco sign ambayo itakwenda ku pop up window mpya ambayo imeandikwa explode into current view so sita change chochote kwenye hii window and then ila hapa umeandika keep original elements after exploding of which kwamba original copy itabaki and ile itakayokuwa exploded itakwenda kuwa on the same location na ile original kwa hiyo original haitakuwa exploded na hiyo new copy itakuwa exploded so nita press okay yeah like so and then nitakachokwenda kufanya ni tie move pembeni kidogo hiyo ya yeah. hiyo original na kwa sasa tutakuwa tumebaki na ile copy ambayo tumeexplode pale awali now nikiklick utaona uta notice changes fulani kama hapa nime click unaona iko highlighted ime highlight hiyo shape kama unaviona kwenye screen yako so nitakachokwenda kufanya nitakwenda ku press control d ku drag na ku remove pembeni and yeah as you can see so if ni click pembeni hautaona chochote kwa sababu hii fill haina border so nita click hapa ku activate border line and nita click tena hapa kuchagua fill color of which nitakuja hapa kwanza nita click na nitachagua gypsum yeah like so and nita click tena hapa kuchagua fill color ambayo nitaweka ile pale so right now tunaweza tuka view ile fill yetu nitakachokwenda kufanya ni ku copy yeah like so nita copy hiyo fill na right away nitakwenda ku click kwenye design and then nitakwenda kwenye complex profile and profile manager like so na kwa sasa nitakwenda ku click kwenye new uh, as you can see and nitakachokwenda kufanya nita type nita type let's say nita type molding molding yeah molding cones yeah like so and then nitakwenda ku hit okay yeah as you can see then nitakwenda ku press control v kukumanisha ku paste okay na nita paste kama inavyoonekana center of the current view then click paste yeah as you can see now nitakwenda ku click kwenye hii point na nitakwenda kuiattach kwenye hii remember unapoweka hii lazima uiset kwenye hiyo origin ili ku kukwepa 
confusion za baadaye so remember to fix hiyo kitu kwenye hiyo x nyekundu kama unaviona kwenye screen yako then nita click pembeni na baada ya kufanya hivyo nitakachokwenda kufanya sasa it means kwamba nimesha save hiyo hiyo ni kwamba nimesha save hiyo template yetu na kwa sasa nitakachokwenda kufanya ni kuchange tu ile material kwenye age kwa ku click kwenye override and yenyewe itatumia stucco white fine of which it's okay to me then kwa nimemaliza nitakwenda ku click close hapa yeah as you can see so ile tume save iko kwa sasa iko kwenye templates za complex profile and same applies to these unazoziona hapa kwenye hii list unaweza kufanya same kama tulivyofanya kwenye ile ya kwanza kuzi save hizo template how easy it is oh i love this country Mwah. so moja kwa moja nitakachokwenda kufanya kwa sasa ni kwenda kwenye mchoro ambao tutakwenda kufanya testing ya hicho tulicho kitengeneza okay then ta move upande huu na nitakwenda kwenye extra wall kwenye story na baada ya kufika kwenye extra wall nitakwenda click kwenye wall na baada ya kuklik kwenye wall nitakwenda nitakwenda kuklik hapa o simply control t shortcut kwenye keyboard and then nitakwenda kuactivate hii ambayo ni complex profile na baada ya kuklik hapo nitakwenda kwenye custom nitabadilisha na kuchagua molding cones ambayo tuli save pale awali click hapo and then nitakwenda ku hit okay pale chini yeah like so na nitakwenda kuchora hii template yetu kama unaviona kwenye screen yako nitachora yeah like so na kama nitahitaji kuchora upande mwingine let's say upande huu hapa nitakachopenda kufanya ni kumila copy control shift m and mirror yeah like so so nitakwenda ku click hizi o moja kwa moja nitakwenda ku view 3d tu yeah like so na zile molding zetu ni hizi kama unaviona kwenye screen yako hapa ni just to pull down nitabweza control d uh, kuzi drop down kwenye reasonable height uh, like so maybe here Yeah. So nitakwenda ku attach hii kwenye Ethereum soft surface ile pale. Na ambayo nitatumia point hii kama reference nita click. And yeah. Kama unaviona but still has ya join. So nita click hii hapa and here hapa wakati huo nitakwenda ku click kwenye intersect na boom yeah like so kama unaviona kwenye screen yako zimekwenda ku join na ile cornices au style ambayo tulikuwa tume save kama template kwa sasa tunaitumia as a real object kwenye archicad but before tuja end up hii tutorial inabidi tuka change hii kitu tuka change setting yake i mean layer yake ambayo kwa sasa iko kwenye structural 
bearing of which it, it's not true hii ni kama finishes tu so nitakwenda ku click pale na ku change let's say i'm going to put it into morph general like so yeah kama unaviona remember to change it kwa sababu hiyo structure uko ya iwezi kakaa kwenye structure na mpaka kufika hapo tumefikia mwisho wa hii tutorial na mwisho wa tutorial hii ndio mwanzo wa tutorial zingine so don't forget to subscribe and ring a bell so you can receive any notification for the future video that i'm going to post or oh, as usual this is uswazi talented tv and i'm your pilot right here bombisco enoch ciao